स्टार्ट अगेन एप्लीकेशन ऑफ डायमेंशन डायमेंशन ओके नाउ थर्ड इट्स थर्ड एप्लीकेशन What is the third application? The third application is to convert to convert magnitude or amount. to convert magnitude or amount of certain physical quantity to convert magnitude or amount of certain physical quantity from one system to another system the application of dimensions first we have discussed about how to check the correctness of any physical equation last class we have discussed how to derive a physical equation now we are going to discuss how to convert magnitude or amount amount magnitude or amount of certain physical quantity of certain of certain physical quantity certain physical quantity means it may be force it may be velocity it may be acceleration it may be momentum whatever may be it may be power from one system to another system then magnitude ko convert kariya pai hole ami dimensions use kar pai through dimensions we can convert from one system to another system of any physical quantity magnitude of any physical quantity let's start past system this is the second system second system so it is the first system and it is the second system now Let's say first system system is in M K S. First system is in M K S, and the second system is in C G S. Okay, first system is in M K S, and the second system in Yes. Let the physical quantity name of the physical quantity is name of 
the the means particular physical body the physical quantity quantity is x dimensional formula of the physical quantity is n to the power a n to the power b t to the power c amount or magnitude of x in first system is equal to n1 amount or magnitude of x in second system is equal to n2 these are the things we have to identify first we have to know name of the physical quantity it is most necessary the amount or the magnitude we want to transfer from one system to another system is mostly essential that means let's say it is velocity we have to change it we have to change the magnitude we have to transfer the magnitude from mks to cgs or cgs to fps but we must know the physical quantity to whom to which we want to transfer it may be velocity it may be acceleration so that, that's why it is most cases here we must know the name of the physical quantity accordingly we have to know its dimensional formula then how much is the magnitude in one system how much the magnitude will be after it is transfer it is changed from another system so amount of magnitude in first system is n1 we know it we know it how much the magnitude in second system means the system to which we want to transfer it let's say that is n2 we do not know we have to find so that's why here is a question mark we do not know the value of n2 we do not know okay we have to find the value of n2 let's start
Now, in first system, its magnitude is n1. Okay, n1. Then, its dimensional formula is m to the power a l to the power b t to the power c okay its value in the second system will be m2 its dimensional formula is same so i am writing it is m to the power a l to the power b t to the power c but one thing you remember in case of an empty system the unit of mass is kg the unit of length is meter and the unit of time is second so here i am writing m1 l1 t1 here i am writing it is m2 l2 t2 what do you mean by m1 l1 t1 and what does it mean by m2 l2 t2 listen m1 is equal to 1 unit l1 is equal to 1 unit t1 is equal to 1 unit that means 1 unit but here it is m case so 1 unit means it is 1 ag l1 l stands for length l1 identifies that the length is measured in mk system so one unit length is denoted as l1 l1 stands for one unit one unit in which system in mk system because we have to transfer the magnitude from mk to cgs from first system to second system so it is 1 meter then the unit of time is 1 second come to here here the second system is cgs what is the value of n2 we do not know we have to find it we have to find n2 okay now m2 stands for one unit m stands for mass m2 stand one unit mass of second system how much it is 1 gram because it is cgs system this is cgs system so one unit mass is 1 gram l2 one unit length in second system two stands for second system how much it is 1 How much it is? 
वन सेंटीमीटर देन टी टू दिस इज आल्सो वन यूनिट इज इक्वल टू वन सेकेंड बिकॉज the unit of time is second in fk system as well as in cj system in fk system also so now you have to look at it what are we doing n1 it is given n1 is given it is given n1 is given right n2 we have to derive dimensional formula is m m to the power a n to the power b t to the power c but though it is in fast system so i am getting m1 l1 t1 m1 stands for one unit in mk system it is one kg l1 stands for one unit of length in mk system it is one meter t1 stands for one unit of time in mk system so i am getting one second here m2 stands for one unit of mass in second system i am getting one gram l2 stands for one unit of length in second system i am getting one second T two stands for one unit of time in CJ system. I have written one second. That is okay. You have to remember this equation. This is an important equation. What is that equation? N one into M one to the power a. L one to the power b, T one to the power c is equal to L two L to the power L two to the power L L two to the power b. T two to the power c. Now, implies we have to find n two. N one is given. It is given. How much it is? It is given. We have to find n two. So. Right first, n to left right. Just I could left right for you. Right could left right like that. Left could right right like that. So now, are you just like one or two? Right hand side like one or two? That's it, guys. Now we're left side. N to n to to the power n. L to to the power b. T to To the power c is equal to LHS. Let me just write the LHS. Let me write M1 M1 to the power a L1 to the power b T1 to the power c. Clear? Implies. N two is equal to how much? N one all into M one to the power a, L one to the power b, T one to the power c. All divided by N two. To the power n, 
एल टू टू दी पावर बी पी टू टू दी पावर सी सो नाउ वी कैन राइट इट दिस इज इक्वल टू एल वन एम वन टू दी पावर एन by m2 to the power n l1 to the power b by l2 to the power b t1 to the power c by t2 to the power c okay so now l2 is this much l2 is l1 l2 this is a okay finally the equation came out called the final final equation is एन टू इज इक्वल टू एन वन ऑल इन टू एम वन बाई एम टू टू दी पावर एन एल वन बाई एल टू टू दी पावर बी T1 by T2 to the power C. So you have to remember this equation. You you have to remember this. You have to remember this. N2 is equal to N1, M1 by N2 to the power N, N1 by N2 to the power B, T1 by T2 to the power C. This the equation. You have to first you have to know what is given, the amount is given, the name of the system, its dimensional formula. and the value of one unit of mass the value of one unit of length the value of one unit of time in this is and here you have to find n2 you have to know the dimensional formula you have to know also one unit of mass in second system One unit of length in second system, one unit of time in third system. So these are the things you have to remember. This is the value of one unit in this system, and this is the value of one unit of mass, one unit of length, one unit of time in second system. first system second system one system to another system another system is the second system one system is the first system remember the equation the value we want to derive we want to calculate we have to calculate is n2 so now the equation is n2 is equal to n1 M1 by M2 to the power n, L1 by L2 to the power b, T1 by T2 to the power c. Then one thing I want to tell you, what are the? I want to tell you again. 
What are proofs? A, B, C. What are proofs? Those are the dimensions. So it is mostly essential to know the physical quantity as well as its dimensions before transfer of magnitude. You have to know the physical quantity and its dimensions. Then only you can proceed. A, B, C are the dimensions. of that particular physical quantity of which you want to transfer the magnitude from one system to another system If the value of Z in N K system is Nine point eight meter per second square. If Z in M K system is nine point eight meter per second square, then how? much it is in cg system If G in MP system is 9.8 meter per second square, G means acceleration due to gravity is 9.8 meter per second square. Then how much it is in CJ system? First, you identify the name of the physical quantity. It is G. Then you have to remember, you have to find its dimensional formula. After getting dimensional formula, you can to know what is its dimensions. Name of the physical quantity Z dimensional formula M1 L1 T minus two. Amount of 
9.8 मीटर पर सेकेंड स्क्वायर डायमेंशंस वन वन माइनस टू सेकेंड एग्जाम सेकेंड एग्जाम इफ जी इन एमपी सिस्टम जी नेम ऑफ अ फिजिकल क्वांटिटी इज जी डायमेंशनल फॉर्मूला M1 L1 T minus 2. No, this is not the dimensional formula of G. So when you recheck it, it is mandatory. While doing a problem in physics, the given data twice you have to repeat. What are the data I have given? Unless until you repeat it, you cannot know where is the fault. So it is mostly essential. Dimensional formula of Z is how much m zero, but I am writing here m one. It's wrong. M zero. Now I am writing correctly. M zero. It was a big fault. M zero L one T minus two. Yes, it is correct. Amount nine point eight meter per second square. Yes, it is correct. Dimensions. It is not one one minus two. It is zero. One minus two. Now it is correct. Let's move. Pass system, MK system. Then we have to transfer it to the second system, that is CGS system. First system, MK system, where N one is equal to nine point eight, N two we have to derive. Now, dimensional formula, you know, dimensions we have to write now a, b, c. It is zero, one. Minus two. Same. Zero. One. Minus two. Here, all the data given to me has been written. So now we know that n two into n two to the power n. L two to the power b, t two to the power c is equal to m one whole into m one to the power a, l one to the power b, t one to the power c.
I am just changing from LHS to RHS, RHS to LHS. I could have write N one here N one M one L one T one to the power a d c is equal to n2 n2 n1 in case of n1 i have to write n2 m2 to the power a l2 to the power b t2 to the power c no problem i have just shifted from left to right and right to left so i have written in left hand side n2 whole into m2 to the power a L2 to the power B, T2 to the power C is equal to in right hand side where the second system I have written N1, N1, L1 to the power A, B, C. No problem. N2 is equal to how much? N1 whole into you have to divide this. You have to take it to that side, and you have to divide this with m m one to the power a, l one to the power b, t one to the power c. So n n two remain there. Now n two is equal to n one into this by this. So how much it will be? N two is equal to n one. M one by M two to the power a L one by L two to the power b T one by T two to the power C. This is the formula. Study is equal to. Now we have to find how much is n two. Why? Because the power of t is minus two. 
so now the power of n is a it is zero right here zero next move to this side l1 what does it mean l1 one unit length in fast system one meter divided by a2 one unit length in second system second system is the cg system one centimeter to the power b how much is b one so right here one then move to Minus two. Here it is. Minus two. So write down. T one. T one means one unit of length in fast system. One second. divided by 1 unit of time in second system that is also 1 second to the power minus 2 is equal to to write here 9.8 you see 1 kg by 1 gram whatever may be to the power 0 something to the power 0 is 1 so simply you write it is 1 don't waste time this is 1 liter just write 100 centimeter 100 centimeter 4 divided by 1 centimeter Four to the power 1 into 1 second by 1 second whole to the power minus 2 this is equal to 9.8 4 into 1 into centimeter centimeter cancels 100 by 1 it is 100 to the power One second and one second, so it cancels. It is one to the power one to the power minus two. Uh, 
right so now what is the value of this 1 to the power something to the power minus 2 how much it is it is 1 1 to the power something it is 1 something to the power 0 is equal to 1 so now how much it is it is 1 right then the value came out 9.8 into 100 is equal to 980 the value of Z which means which means N2 is equal to 980 centimeter per second square. So the value of N1 is 9.8 meter per second square the value of z is 9.8 meter per second square in mk system in mk system and the value of z is 980 centimeter per second square in cgs system Okay, now this is the value of Z and this is also the value of Z. This is in MK system and this is in CJ system. It was given and it, and it is derived. Convert one convert one unit of force. Convert one unit of force. Convert one unit of force in MK system to CG system. We have to convert one unit of force from MK system to CJ system. So our first system is MK system and second system is CJ system. This is the second system. Okay, let's start now.
you see here what I written this is force this is force so convert one unit of force in MP system to CJ system name of the physical quantity name of the physical quantity S dimensional formula of F M1 L1 T minus 2 dimensions This is over. Now we have to apply it. Amount Amount of F in M K S system is equal to one unit means one newton okay this is given to us so we have to write now in fast system we have to write now We have to write now N1 is equal to 1 Newton. M1 is equal to 1 kg. L1 is equal to 1 liter. T1 is equal to 1 second. Similarly, in second system, L2 we do not know. We have to derive. M2 is equal to 1 gram. T2, L2 is equal to 1 centimeter. One centimeter. Then T two is equal to one second. Okay. Start now. N two is equal to N one M one by M two to the power A L one by L two to the power B. T1 by T2 
to the power c. This is the formula. So now this is n one one into one kg by one gram whole to the power. What is the value of a? What is the value of a? A one. So it is one whole into l one. L one is one meter. One meter by one centimeter to the power b. How much is b? It is also one. And time one second by one second to the power minus two. Okay, this is one whole into here you see one kg one thousand gram. Whole divided by one gram. Whole to the power one. One meter is equal to hundred centimeter. Whole divided by one centimeter. Whole to the power one. The next one second by one second. Whole to the power minus two. So finally, what we get here? Gram, gram cancels. Centimeter, centimeter cancels. One second, one second cancels. So it is n two is equal to. This is one into. This is one thousand. Into this is one hundred. Into this is one. Is equal to one zero 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 zero. This is equal to ten to the power five. What is its unit? Ten to the power five. What is this? This is force. What is its unit in CG system? Dime. So now, n one. How much it was? One newton. Then in CG system, one newton is how much dime? Ten to the power five dime. So from this analysis, you can to know how. Using dimensions, we can transfer a magnitude of a physical quantity from one system to another system. Okay, all the best.